Evening. Today I have Kilowatt. I bought this at Harbor Freight. I don't think it's exclusive to them. I think a lot of different places carry this. I have a bit of a power problem in my workshop in that I don't have enough power and occasionally I will blow a breaker with the table saw. Apparently it draws a lot of current on startup. So I bought this to try to figure out what it's doing. But the base problem is I need to upgrade the power in my shop. So I ran all these cords because it has a remote control switch and I wanted to be able to show this. For safety, I'm just gonna leave the blade down. All I really want is to start up the motor. As you can see, voltage starting out is 121 volts. I'm gonna turn this on and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, it's all that dip to 84 volts. Now, it's not drawing too much Volts is why it's going down. It's drawing too much current, and that's why it's going down. So we got it on amps. Let's see what the current draw. So it flashed to 17 amps and then went to 5 amps. Twenty-one. That's on a 20 amp breaker, so it's 21, it's not uh, tripping a breaker. So let's see how many watts it is. Let's look at how clean the power is. 60 hertz, that's actually pretty good. See if it changes. Now this is a table saw. It's a Craftsman table saw from late 80s, early 90s. Now this let me see how many amps that was actually pulling, somewhere in the area of 20. What a lot of people use this for is to go in and hook it to a piece of consumer electronics equipment in your house and see if there is a load when it's turned off to see if there's it's pulling any amps watts so if you want to test it inside plug it in while it's running and it'll tell you how many watts is on turn the thing off it still could be pulling watts and that's called a phantom load and if you think about it if you have a remote control and you hit the on button to turn your tv on a certain part of that TV has to already be on for it to turn the rest of it on. So that's called a phantom load. And if you do alternative energy, solar power, wind power, or hydropower, that's very important. You don't want those phantom loads because it will slowly drain your batteries. So this is a tool that you can use to evaluate your saw, any power tool, any consumer electronics, anything that's electric. And it'll tell you what it's pulling. And the watts is what's important most of the time. In this case, the startup amps is what I wanted to know. And that most certainly tells me why it's blowing the breaker sometimes. Uh, that's a 20 amp circuit. And if the table saw is pulling 20, if there's almost anything else on it, it's gonna blow. So to me, this is a great tool. Um, once you use it to evaluate everything in your house, eh, it's kind of a non-used tool until you buy something else. But it's still something next to have. It's about 20 bucks. I thought it was well worth it. Uh, if you're having problems with a tool, this could help you out. If you want to evaluate a tool that's having problems, if you want to try upgrading a motor on a device, you can find out what it runs with no load. Then you can do with load and see if you're running it efficiently or not. So, great little tool, $20, well worth it. If you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.